join us. Oh yeah, look what I got. New lightsaber. Look at that. Look at that handsome devil there. Mr. Hamill. So, I just picked this up yesterday. Uh, Zing Pop Culture here in Australia. Um, that's sort of the collectible side of EB Games here in Australia. Uh, they're sort of split in two, but they're both the same company. Uh, they recently put this down from $4.99 to $1.99. is way too much, in my opinion, for one of these. Um, they sort of started giving them the Deluxe Elite moniker and bumped the price up from like three fifty. dollars um, Force FX Elite. Um, I don't think they're any different to how they were before. I could be wrong. But, um, you know, I've only got a few of these. Well, this is my third. So I had to had to get a green one. I just... I was humming and hiring about the uh, Sabine Ran one, the Yoda one, um, and then this one went on discount. So I decided to snatch it up. And, uh, yeah, because I've got Ray's... Ray's Gold Saber from the end of Rise of Skywalker. I've got Leia's Blue Saber from the Rise of Skywalker. And I thought, you know, we'd bookend that. A, a nice green, a nice green saber. I would love to get uh, the reforged Anakin, Anakin blade that Ray uses before she uh, gets rid of it and uses the, uses the gold one. That'd be cool. And of course the classic Anakin. And then uh yeah, I'd love to get a love to get a Darth Vader one, honestly. So yeah, I was pretty pretty excited to get this one home. I'm not a master reviewer of, of lightsabers. I just thought I'd do a little bit of a video overview and take a look at it. Yeah, if anyone wants any other lightsaber reviews, if you wanna Dig deep into the world of lightsabers. I recommend going and checking out our friend Jim, uh, Fulcrum and the Force. He knows what he's talking about when it comes to lightsabers. So go check out his channel. I'll leave a I'll leave a thing in the description so you can you can head straight over. So again, we'll take a look at the uh, we'll take, the, take get rid of the box and we'll take a look at the actual thing because it's pretty cool. All right, here it is on its base, on its stand. Pretty much the same stand as the rest. The little, the little plastic attachments sort of vary from saber to saber. Just the way they they sort of sit and fit in with the base of the hilt, and then obviously this part here fits in with the, with the individual the neck of the hilt. Uh, here is the standard sort of emitter. So if you wanted to just display the hilt, you've got the sort of more accurate sort of emitter thickness. So that's nice. You know, it just sort of screws on. I sort of have my own issues with that, which I'll explain in a moment. Just with the uh, the metal, metal screw. Um, but yeah, as you can sort of see, side by side, obviously to get the blade and all the mechanics in there for the blade, You've got to have a little bit of a swap out. So, look, it's it's a small thing, um, you know, for the purposes of of this being a working, functioning prop. It's kind of cool. So I'm I'm more than okay with that. So we'll take a good look at it, at the hilt. So he's obviously got the uh, the little clip there. Underneath you got obviously the speaker output and all the you know, mumbo jumbo written on there. I'd like to find a way to remove that whether whether a bit of nail polish remover would get rid of that, I'm not sure. But if anyone knows, please sing out, let me know. So yeah, down below, I'm just gonna pause it for a second and get my tripod. So now I can actually now I can actually hold it with both hands and sort of Give you a bit of a run through so yeah the bottom now, i didn't have too many problems with this you know you know the metal on metal screw um 
I don't know. I'd, I'd almost prefer it to be plastic. You know, the metal on metal. It's not great. It's not the strongest of metals. Um, so you're going to get a little bit of abrasion in there. Um, and you can sort of see the, the specks of the metal that's sort of worn off as, you know, the thread has sort of crossed through. But yeah, the battery compartment, you just got to undo that screw, slide that down, put the batteries in, and then pop that back in. Screw that back on. And yeah, this one feels really nice. That one's not nothing nothing wrong with that either. Um, but up here, I, had, I did have an issue with this. Um, I have fixed it. It feels good now. So you can sort of see where it's separating there. So just take that off the end. And that is a nice sort of snug fit in there with the blade. Um, so yeah, already, you know, from the get-go, I had sort of issues with the... Um, with threading, sort of cross threading in there, I do need to get a little, a little brush and brush out any of that extra. So I, I did end up having to use some WD-40 just to loosen it up um, because yeah, that was it was almost like it was cross threading. You know, it feels feels nice now. It's fine. Um, I will, like I said, I will give that a little bit of a brush out and get any of that sort of loose. You can kind of see that there in the thread, a few little bits of loose loose metal um so i did have to sort of clean it out it's got that sort of dusty yeah which is a little bit of a bummer but it is what it is um when you've got metal on metal um i don't know maybe maybe there's another way they could do it maybe they could yeah i don't know but yeah that's just with the sort of the standard emitter so you know you display that like that on the on the stand and just have the lightsaber hilt on display like that, which is cool. And of course, if you try to turn it on, here's the uh, switch, so it won't, so it won't turn on until you switch out that blade and put the blade in. So, yeah, again, if you if you find yourself having some issues, um, a little bit of WD forty, which is basically um, lubricant for for metal, <laughs> probably more so for motor vehicles and stuff like that, and engines, like an engine lubricant. Um, yeah, I recommend giving that a go. But we'll screw that back on. So we've got the blade, and here we go. That sounds good. Nice green blade. And you have the effects button here. So you can sort of see where the blade is sort of deflecting. If you hold that down, you get a sort of tip in there. That crossing, crossing blades with another. So if you hold down the bottom, all right. I thought I had that all worked out. So there's got to be a rhyme or reason. I haven't looked at the instructions or anything. I literally just put it together and went swinging it around in my backyard. <laughs> That's what you do, isn't it? When you're a child like I am, but it's all good fun. But yeah, it's it's a nice sound. It feels good. It's not super heavy. It's got good weight to it though. The sound of that could get a little bit annoying. The the little. So I don't know. I guess you could bend that and take that out if you wanted to, but. Overall, it feels like it's nice quality. Like I said, I don't know. It's don't know about five hundred Australian <laughs> for the price of it. Five hundred's a bit much. Maybe three, three fifty. You can probably say, yeah, okay. I don't know if I'd pay three fifty, but 
you know, 199 I paid for this one. I think I paid about the same for layers. And rays, I think I paid about 320 or something. I can't remember. That was a couple of years ago now. But yeah, my only gripe was really just that sort of metal on metal. Um, the threading. Yeah, maybe there was a little bit of a, a niggle in there which caused that to be a problem. Um, and probably this one more than others. There's a little bit of wobble in the blade there. Just, a, just you can kind of just sort of see that moving in there. Um, so maybe I need to find a washer. All right, quiet now. <laughs> quiet now. So maybe I need to find a washer um, just to get in that gap there. Um, and that may, may assist that sort of wobble a little bit. Um, but otherwise, I'm very happy with this thing. I think it looks nice. I... I've been a long-time fan of, of Luke's green lightsaber. I would love to get Obi-Wan's, but they're pretty much the same thing. So there's not a lot of difference between Luke's and Obi-Wan's, um, unless they were going to do his sort of Phantom Menace one. Um, that'd be cool. But yeah, for the most part, I'm pretty happy with this lightsaber. I will leave a link at the end. Um, for a bit of a video review I did of Leia's lightsaber. That was a few months ago now. But yeah, I hope you've enjoyed checking out this Black Series Luke Skywalker's green lightsaber. I think it's quite nice. I'm very, very happy with it. And you know, what, what person doesn't love that sound? Mmm, that beautiful hum. Awesome. Now I'm very happy. You know, always keeping my eyes open for when these go on sale. Yeah, I'd love to have a red one, I think. A Darth Vader would be classic, iconic. I reckon that'd be nice. Even Kylo Ren. I've got a cheaper version of Kylo Ren's, but having the sort of super duper elite black series would be cool too. But anyway, guys, thank you very much for watching. I do appreciate your time. Hope you tune in for more videos very soon. Until then, may the force be with you always.